Hey guys, welcome back. We are back on the truck and as I mentioned in a previous video, we are going to do some body work. I already started on this side, so that side is done, but I didn't film it. So let's get over to the other side and do the same to it. As you can see, there are some rusted out pieces over here, a little bit of surface rust on this part giant rust hole over here and also at the front tub here at the bottom and on the seat mounting plate surface and a couple of holes in the floor where the sound deadening was which had water and obviously rusted it out the other side was about the same, a little bit of rust down there, rusted out over there, the step corner and some little bits over here. So let's jack this thing up, remove the wheel, put it on some jack stands and start cutting and grinding everything out there. This is the expansion tank for the main fuel tank. So I have to remove this and clean up everything right in here. Those pieces, that's some typical area for these Vanagon T3 transporters. Because as you can see, the undercoating cracks and moisture gets underneath that and rusted out from between the layers also over here so let me get a wire wheel flap disc and start cleaning everything that everything is grinded off as you can see huge holes in here a little hole in there of course there is that piece and most importantly over here there was a repair attempt at some point which has rusted out again this is how it looks from underneath this is the step and a corner piece around here a little bit of rust and separation over here I can weld it up probably without replacing any metal also there is a little split and I ground out the sealant but the bottom of the fender looks really good so I might just drill out these factory spot welds and maybe do a little patch over here and just replace this upper fender piece which overlaps the metal underneath we will see how the metal underneath of here looks i already painted on some rust converter just in here i suspect this was uh, the brake fluid leak which dissolved the paint and the coating over here because that's where that's really just some surface rust over here just like a little bit over here these I can patch up like so I think and a little patch over here you will see how it welds 
Oh, we have some big rain clouds coming, so I'm not sure if I can continue with this today, but let's just cut this part here out and start with that. These patches are cut. I coated everything down here with some rust converter. This is the stuff I used. I put it on last night. Looks everything great. And I will put on some weldable primer just in here. But first, I guess I can attach this down here. And this piece will overlap it like so. Obviously, I will coat the back side of it too with some primer. And I have to make the patch for there. I also treated it with the rust converter.
just to make them pretty but it's obviously more important to be strong as pretty so this is how they look and i made a paper template for this problem area just to stay on the safe side and has some reference how the shape of this is before i start cutting everything out and i will probably make this first out of metal and then mark it on here cut this part out and make this flange piece which has a 90 degree bend all around until here i made the floor piece with a bead roller put in this indentation there is a little step i'm not sure if i gonna keep that or maybe just cut it off here but this gives me a shape to make the flange i'm going to use this one millimeter thick it's 50 millimeters wide So I just need to bend this in shape using the shrink, shrinker stretcher, sh shrinker stretcher, the shrinker stretcher to put a curve in it to match this piece. So we will see how this works out. So I need to stretch this flange to get it curving in this direction. something like this and now I have to I have to shrink this upper lip over here to get it curl up to follow that line so somewhere somewhere around here or here-ish I can start doing this by shrinking. Yeah, I need to push this part of the metal together to get it curved up. A bunch of fiddling I got it to fit pretty good obviously this piece flexes a little bit so I can push it into place weld it all up and after that I can do this bend here and replace that part with that guy over there so the bottom flange is on I got very good penetration through the other side. I need to adjust this a little bit to get it higher and probably this side a little bit lower.
So I'm rubbing in the seam sealer and all of those little cracks that formed over here just to seal them up. The truck has been dry for, I don't know, I, I don't really drive it in the rain or when it's wet out. So I guess it's pretty dry underneath all of that sealant. But just to be sure, I rub a little bit of seam sealer all in those tiny cracks. And after that, I will spray on the chip guard, stone guard, bed liner type of thing, which helps to seal up these things even better. So let me do this for a little bit more and I will bring you back when I'm done with it and start spraying the, spraying the stone guard. I sprayed some primer over the seam sealed surfaces just to make them UV resistant because I want to paint it but not sure what color to go for because I don't really like the orange on all the visible surfaces so maybe black but it's Saturday afternoon and all the stores are closed so that will be done on a later date and this is how it looks from the inside. Yeah, it's very dark in there, but there are three layers of the stone chip coating rubberized tex texture stuff all over the place, so that should hold up quite nice, hopefully. And I also sprayed some of that right in here, where the patches for the floor are, up there and all around here and this step from underneath i'm very pleased how this turned out hopefully it will pass inspection but i need to paint the floor over there and put all the interior bits back in it but this is all the time i have for this video so thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed it and see you soon bye